Hello and welcome to the homework video for third grade for Friday, May the 8th. This is going to cover our lesson that we started on today, working with angles in plane shapes. Uh, to, so to start with number two, we are looking for the measure of our angle uh, here. And so that would give us a right angle. I'm just going to kind of abbreviate and give uh, inequality symbols. Uh, number three, this angle is going to be greater than Number four, we have four right angles and nothing else. Number five, anytime that we have a polygon that's like this, where all five um, line segments are the same length, all of the angles inside that shape would be the same. Uh, so just like if we had a square um, that had four sides of the same length. So we are not going to have any right angles and all of these five angles are going to be the same measure and they are all greater than a right angle. Number six, we have two right angles and then we have four angles that are greater than a right angle. Number seven, I get to joke that I did this um, because my first name is Jeff. And so let's say that I made this shape and then I'm going to draw a line across to here. So I would be making two separate triangles. So each triangle would have three sides and three angles. If I combine that together, I would get six sides and six angles. And number eight, draw an example of a shape that has at least one right angle, one angle less than a right angle, and one angle greater than a right angle. If you do this one, or this one because they're both essentially the same thing. Um, they're just asking you for a different part. Uh, this one would be exactly what we were looking for. So you could actually take this shape, label your two right angles, and then do this for the <laughs> greater than and then this one for the less than. So that would be one way that you could do that. Uh, number one on the back, what describes this angle? So we are looking at something that is going to be greater than a right angle. Our uh, opposite angle across the way would also match that, and then our other two angles would be smaller than a right angle, which you'll use that part next year. Um, so I'm going to do greater than for this particular part. How many right angles does this shape have? We have three. Uh, number three, what fraction of the group is shaded? So I have one part shaded out of six, and that's going to give me one sixth. Uh, comparing these, uh, because the bottom numbers are the same, uh, whichever one is the larger top number uh, will be the greater side. And so that would be greater, four thirds, or sorry, four eighths is greater than three eighths. Number five, what is straight? Continues in both directions and does not end. It would be a line. And so if we draw a ray, we start with an end point. If we have a line, we have no um, starting and ending point and it goes in both directions forever. And uh, number six, how many line segments? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's a very interesting shape uh, to have seven sides, but that's uh, what we have. So hope that helps with the homework. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom if you're one of my students or reach out to your classroom teacher if you are not. Hope you have a great weekend. I will have a new lesson on Monday. And then as a quick update for th uh, my third grade students, um, we will be back to three new lessons a week for you guys for uh, the last uh, two weeks of school. And I am working on a a uh, way to have a virtual field day uh, that will be posted on YouTube. So if you are not one of my students, you can still uh, have access to that. That will be available for anybody that wants to try that. Uh, working with some ideas with the teachers to be able to uh, come up with activities that we would do at our school's field day uh, that you can do from home uh, safely without risking breaking anything and driving your parents up the wall. So hope you have a great day and I will see you on.